hi once again it's time for y'all to step into the den it is the lioness here um i am today we're going to be reading on megan the stallion i've been called to read on her uh, for the last few days i see that there's been like a lot going on with her and her company um and uh we're just gonna see what's in store for her i'm gonna do a personality reading on megan the stallion um and i'm just gonna go in to see you know what is going to be the biggest things coming for her um i'm not really sure what decks i'm going to use when i start to use the towel so i may draw some cards from one and then just scrap that and switch to a different deck um don't be surprised if i do that sometimes i can be picky about what deck i decide to use so let's get started we're going to be using uh, Caroline Miss's archetype cards uh, for her personality reading. So, um, actually, let me put my ring on. Um, and if you fancy any of the jewelry that I'm wearing, um, these jewelry, you can find them at uh, Stone Love ATL. You can see that. Sorry. Stone Love at ATL ring that's actually going to come off my finger because it's actually too big but all of these can be resized and everything so go to, go on instagram with stone love atl all her pieces are original so you will get a unique piece um all right so let's get started what is can i get some cards for megan's personality I get some cards for her personality type okay Hold on. I don't know if y'all see that. I may have to zoom in. Okay. I'm just going to be letting the cards fall out. I don't want to flip over. I'm going to be letting the cards fall out as they want. Um, I think that's about enough. I'll probably, I'll, let me get one more card. Get a six card just to make it even. And, um... Okay, we have a lot of reversed cards here. <laughs> so for Megan the Stallion, um, we have Gossip in reverse, Knight in reverse, Monk or Nun in reverse, Goddess upright, Saboteur upright, and Damsel in reverse. Okay, so let's talk about these. So Gossip in reverse says... Um, Thrives on the power of passing on private secret information and betraying confidences. So, you know, Megan may have a habit of basically talking a lot of crap about people. Um, and it's interesting because I can see her talking, but I only see her doing it within a tight group and not necessarily to anybody that she doesn't know. But, you know of course stuff gets around so you know it's just talking about Megan does have a habit of talking a little bit too much sometimes um I also am seeing her liking to keep secrets though so it's weird it's like she does keep secrets like she likes to keep people's business but not necessarily to herself just to a smaller group but that smaller group has people that also talk a lot so you know I guess that defeats the purpose like, you know, she could be like, well, shoot, shoot, I didn't tell, they told, that's not my fault, they, look, I didn't tell, they told, that kind of thing. So, okay, we also have the knight in reverse. So, the knight in reverse is talking about alliances to destructive ruler or principal romantic delusions. So, this can, this is, um, this is about... <sighs> Her being loyal to bad, both bad behaviors um, and bad habits. And this is also talking about her romantic life and also being attracted to certain type of men that will not help or aid her um, on her personal journey. And she will kind of keep going after these kind of things. Um, it, it takes her a little bit, you know, or like one harsh lesson for her to learn. Uh, but she has habits that she needs to break. Um, and that's both in a romantic sense and also in just a general bad habit thing. 
We have monk or nun in reverse. So it's negative judgment of the physical world or excess piety. So it's like Megan, hmm, Megan kind of like, I kind of feel like a very nonchalantness from her. Like she, like she definitely doesn't really expect much from the world. She, she doesn't expect much. Um, I do see her kind of ready to deal with things. Um, it's not such an excessive negativity, but it's, it, it, I wouldn't say it's an excessive negativity. It's more so a doubt in positivity, if that makes sense. Like she doesn't expect people to do right by her um or do right by other people she just doesn't expect it it's not necessarily a, a, uh, i expect you to do wrong it's just i wasn't expecting better um and that's kind of how she views the world it's like you know i don't expect people to do anything that's not within not that's not for their own benefit basically um, so we have the goddess in the lighter attribute. So it's talking about, uh, it says the feminine expressed through wisdom, nature, life force, and sensuality. So, um, it is talking about how, um, uh, Megan is a, is truly a goddess in her own way. Um, she knows how to use her beauty. She knows how to use her brain. She knows how to use her brawn. She knows how to use everything that she was gifted with when she came into this world in order to maneuver through it. So any, like any angle you try to tackle her from she knows how to use what she has to make the best of it or get out of it completely um so <laughs> you know you know it kind of makes me want to actually pull a goddess card for her and see what goddesses sorry my decks fell off the shelf uh and see what goddesses are around her okay um immediately i get lilith Goddess of Independence. That's my chair, guys. Um, and see if there's another goddess. I think that's it. Goddess of Independence. Yeah, so she's able to use what she has and take care of herself, like I was saying. Um, let me show you guys the cards. And take care of herself. I can't get that to focus. Oh, well. But it is the goddess, there we go, goddess Lilith. And her key word is independent. So like I was saying before, like she's really good at being able to take care of herself and manage things with her own skills and her own knowledge and her own abilities. Okay, so the next one we have, the saboteur in the lighter uh, side, it says, highlights the fear of self-empowerment and, sh and uh, the changes it would bring to your life. So she is definitely a person who also encourages independence in others and encourages people to be able to be true to themselves even if it's like let's say even if it's against her like if someone has issues with her she is the type of person to be like well look if you're having issues tell me like tell me how you really feel tell, like be honest tell me how if you're feeling a type of way tell me how you actually feel don't don't you know let people walk all over if you feel I'm walking all over you tell me that you feel like I'm walking all over you and don't let me walk all over you like that's how she is like she is like she's here for independent people and especially independent women um specific like yeah I'm I'm feeling more so women she doesn't like um, to see women allow other people and allow other women to step all over them as she likes people women to be more independent and more um, self-aware and more loving of themselves okay she likes those type of people she like bad people around like bad I, I can't curse because I don't want to be demonetized but you know she keep she keep bad ones near her okay um, and real ones okay and last, we have the damsel in reverse. So it's just like waiting for a knight to provide for you seduction by romantic illusion. Um, <laughs> so you know what I think? I, I think she has a, tr a, a trouble when it comes to men or lovers in general. And um, not that she falls easily, but she does have bad romantic habits. Um... And I feel like she tries, she may have a thing with reading 
uh, people through intimacy, like judging on how much somebody likes her through intimacy. Um, but she, I can't really pinpoint it, but it has to do with intimacy and she makes bad decisions based off of that. And that's kind of something that is kind of coming up, but I'm not going to get into that part of her life. Um, but yeah, she does need to work on healing her romantic, um, her romantic life, part of her life and everything. Because uh, she be making, <laughs> I'm knocking everything over. She be making some bad choices. Okay. <sighs> Let me get this. Okay, put this here. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna keep these here, and I'm going to pull some cards from my romance deck just to see if she has anybody coming for her um, in the near future, or just kind of what will be going on. If I can pick up anything going on in her love life. Okay, so we have Open Relationship, Destiny, and Wallflower. So basically what I'm seeing is she will have a relationship that may come out, but it's not going to be a relationship. Like, it's not going to be, it's like, it's not going to be a real relationship. Like, she's going to be with someone that, whoever the next person she's with, or, you know, people suspect her to be with, it's not going to be that type of relationship that you may think, because um, he's going to be out cheating or doing whatever he wants, so, she, so will she. Like, both of them are going to be together, quote-unquote together, but they're going to be seeing and messing with different people, so it's not really going to... You... <sighs> So, and, you know, this is somebody that possibly is supposed, is she supposed to meet in life? Unfortunately, maybe, or fortunately, there may be a lesson to be learned with this person. Or maybe she may learn that she actually just likes open relationships and doesn't want to be settled down um, with someone, you know, as of right now. Um, we also have Wallflower. I feel like this, whatever this relationship is, may actually go by quickly, and she's gonna be kind of back, you know, in her own space, like, you know, this ain't working out, like, I, like, just, this ain't working out, I don't know what to do, like, this, like, these, these men, they not even worth it, like, I haven't even, you know, like, this is a waste of time, and she may quickly get bored with finding relationships, if she's not already bored with it now, or uninterested now, um, you know, she, I can see her just not really bothering after, after this relationship that may come up, or just right now, just like, Girl, I'm not even trying to look for for anybody right now. I'm tired. I don't feel like dealing with it. That's too much work. So, yeah. Um. Yeah. So let's see. Now I want to go to my Moo Moo deck. Okay. Hmm. One and focus. These are like the three musketeers. Ooh. Okay. Oh, there's another card here. Okay. So this is possibly also her. Um, I hate stuff being uneven. I need. I need six cards. I do not like when things are uneven. I don't know why it's a thing. So let me just get, great. Now I have seven. I'm not pulling anymore. Okay. So I don't see her being able to balance relationships and uh, work at the same time. Um, she can't focus on both at the same time and that to me would be um interesting like that's probably why she uh will have an open relationship um also like i'm not seeing like she's going to be working really hard 
she's like there is play is in reverse so she's not going to be playing around as much as she used to she is going to go, be going through a period of growth um and probably focusing more so directly on her music um her i think her music is going to change I think her music is going to change. And I think she's going to be going, yeah, and I think she's going to be going a lot harder than she used to. Like, maybe she'll go back to the way she was before she got signed over to the label and she became very more poppy or, um, you know, she had, her music changed. But I see it changing again. Like, she's going to be like, um, like, uh, Foxy Brown or something. Like, um, like, Lil Kim, like, it's gonna get rougher and raw, like, and nature and instinct is that, like, she's still gonna have those, um, you know, kind of, um, I guess, uh, uh, sexual lyrics that she had before, I don't know if I'm gonna get demonetized for saying that, um, but, you know, she's gonna have, like, s lyrics like that, but, like, somehow I'm just seeing it getting raw, like, it's gonna get harder, like, her style is going to change and just be more intense. And that's just how I'm going to, I'm just going to leave it at that. Her style is going to change. It's going to be more intense than it was before. Um, okay. So last and not least, we're going to go ahead and see what is going to be, um, the next biggest event coming for her. I want to try to use this deck, but if I'm not feeling it, I will change it. So, what is the next, what are the, what's the next, okay, wow. Mm. I was afraid of this. Ah, uh, I was afraid of this. Ah, uh, man, I don't see her being able to win over her her company I'm not seeing it um I'm we are gonna be like see she is gonna be like saying stuff online constantly like like she will keep us informed if she can yeah she's not gonna be happy y'all like and hopefully this is something that doesn't come true but I'm not seeing a win for her like, if she's suing them and everything, I don't see her winning this case. Um, I mean, there could be a settlement, but, yeah, I'm not, I, okay, when I said settlement, I have two of wands in reverse, and to me, that's also, like, no choice. No choice, like, it's like, you have no choice. So, oh my god, okay. So, I also have, I also have the Five of Wands and the Strength card, and it's like, in the Five of Wands, Four of Wands, sorry, um, what stood out to me is actually the Phoenix, and then with the Strength. So, we have the Phoenix card here, uh, the Phoenix in this card here, oh goodness. I wish this would focus. Okay, so we have this phoenix that's right here. And it kind of makes me think of like rising from the ashes. And so with the strength card next to it. Is the smoke making it not focus? Sorry. And so we have the strength card next to it. I don't expect this to really focus, so... Makes me think, even though she'll lose this, like, there is, she's gonna still find a way to sort of come out on top somehow. Like, she's going to find a way to still keep going. But I don't see her winning this. I don't. 
So, basically, the next biggest thing that I see happening for her, let me move these up a little bit. The next biggest thing I see happening for her in her career, specifically, is her losing this, uh, I think it's a settlement, this, whatever this is going on, her suing them. I don't see her winning that. Um, like I said, hopefully she does, but I'm, it's not showing in the cards. Um... Um, like she may get a settlement sorry she may receive like they may like give her a certain amount of money and be like hey but I'm not seeing any money cards I'm not seeing any coin pentacles you know so she may just straight up lose and somehow have to you know deal with what's going on okay now I'm getting the king of pentacles but yeah like she may lose and still have to deal with everything that's going on um yeah, I'm not seeing, I'm seeing this company getting money. Not her. Not her. So, that's what we have for Megan. That's what I'm seeing for her. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I don't, I've been going for 20 minutes now. So, that was the Megan the Stallion reading. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please make sure you like if you like the video. Um, make sure you subscribe if you're not already subscribed. If you want to become a cub, go ahead and paw that subscribe button right quick. Scratch that like button to show me that you like the video and want to see more by it. Um, and welcome to the Lions and Tarot. Um, I do readings on K-pop stars, uh, celebrities, um, pretty much anything I'll do a reading on you uh, just email me at the lines and tarot at yahoo.com if you would like for me to do a personal reading for you um, I do have a flat rate for a general reading of 25 and they all come in audio recordings so go ahead and head over there this is how I survive y'all so go ahead and hit me up and let me know also um, below will be a link to my PayPal and cash app if you would like to donate to my channel and you know if you want to see me continue to uh, drop readings you can also leave a request if you donate to my channel and I will surely get to it Alrighty, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.